Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Cecilowati. I'm an Excel and Power BI enthusiast with decades of business experience in reporting, planning, and analysis. In this video, I'd like to show you four options that we can use for conditional formatting in Power BI. We can set the background color, such as in the sales column here. We can set the font color, such as in the profit column here. Or we can set the data bar, such as in the unit sold, or we can use icons such as these in the profit percentage. Let's get started by clearing the pre-existing conditional formatting so that I can show you how to recreate each one from scratch. How to clear an existing conditional formatting? Click the table, go to visualization pane, and notice how um, now you can see the column names in the values in here. So for each one, right click it and hit remove conditional formatting all. Right click, remove conditional formatting all. Right click, remove conditional formatting all. And last one, right click profit percentage and remove conditional formatting all. Now notice how everything is now cleared. Let's get started by setting the background color so that when the sales is high, it's green, and when it's low, it's white. So go to sales, in the visualization pane, right click, hit conditional formatting, background color. It prompts you with a default of light blue and dark blue. So we'll change the dark blue to green, and we'll change the minimum color to white. Then hit OK. Next, Let's work on the profit and conditionally format the font so that when it's running at a loss, it's in red, and when it's profitable, in black, and the highest one in green. How do you do that? Click the table, go to the visualization pane, right click profit, go to conditional formatting, and select font color. For the minimum, we want to select red. And we want to hit custom and the value that we should enter is minus one so that anything which is in negative will be colored red. Yeah? And then for the highest, we want it green. So it's just pick green instead of um, the default color blue earlier. And we don't need to enter a value because whatever the highest, we want it green. And the bits in the middle, we don't want it to be this kind of like a hybrid green. We want it to be black. So hit diverging tick box so that a middle value options uh, appear and change that yellow color to black. And instead of middle value, change that to custom and enter zero. What it's saying is anything which is zero and beyond should become black. And look at that. Awesome. Now let's apply data bar conditional formatting to unit sold. Let's click the table, right click unit sold, go to conditional formatting, select data bar, and change the color to the one that you want. Uh, this time I'm going to pick gray. And notice there is an option in here to uh, show the bar only and hide the numbers, but I'm not going to select that. You can play with that if you want. And also to enter minimum or maximum value so that you only show the bar maybe for sales in excess of blah or unit which is more than or less than something but for now i'll just show everything and done now let's look at adding icons to conditionally format the profit percentage so step one click the table right click profit percentage Click conditional formatting and hit icons. So it will prompt you with several options. There is something that says whether you want to apply to values only or values and total. Based on what field, we are doing the profit percentage. Yeah, so we are not going to base it on other field. Let's keep it simple. We're going to put it on the left and put it on the right if you want. Or just show the icon and hide the table. You can put it on top in the middle. We're just going to put it on top. Yeah. In the style, you can change that as well. Whichever that you want. So many different options. Graphic light, crosses, and ticks. We'll just stick to the default for now. 
and then there is the rules. This is the bits that you need to be careful because there is option to enter as a percent or as numbers. Now, when it's entered as a percent, it look at the bell curve and basically color code based on the distribution. So the first 33% of the lowest value will be colored red. Those in the middle will be colored yellow. And then the top 33 will be colored green. Now you can change this. You can enter a number so that you can specify, for example, you know, if the sales is up to 20,000 or 30,000, you don't have to use percentage. You can use an absolute value. So I'm just going to click OK for now. And there you go. Done. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons so that you don't miss out on future tips that I'll be sharing on YouTube every Thursday.